Hello everybody and welcome to this video tutorial. Here I'll be teaching you how you can um, successfully unpack a Themida protected or a Themida packed uh, executable. Um, have in mind that um, this is regarding a uh, promise I made that I will teach you guys how to do it and specifically to Dan and to another dude. His name is meat potato and um, well it seems that you guys were struggling with uh, Themida packed programs so here's the tutorial <clears throat> um, first you want to do is obviously investigate what's going on with the file um, make sure that it's packed with Themida and for sure it is packed with it um, some characteristics of Themida is that first um, last two sections in a protected executable are always encoded uh, with random string with a random string name. Okay. Um, so yeah, just make sure you have those two points gathered, and then we should be good to go. Also, make sure that the executable you are going to unpack with my method or with the method I'm going to use is um, a .NET uh, program. Otherwise, this will not work for um, unpacking a native Themida target. It's quite more difficult because it's a native um, executable. It doesn't go through the .NET framework that's uh, wrapping everything up. So you just make sure of those two, those three main, you know, areas, main focus points. Um, yeah, and then we should be good to go. All right. Um, well, okay, let's let's start. Um, now that we have understand what that our target is Themida, um, one characteristic is that when you load it up in the Inspire or simple as um, Smart Assembly Explorer, you will not be able to see the assembly, of course, because it's it's, <coughs> it's packed with a with a virtual machine that only understands um, the uh, the machine. Um, and if it's tried to, if you try to run it with, um, it's wrapped, it's wrapped in a in that vir virtual machine. And then if you try to analyze it with uh, some of the files, uh, some of the the compilers that we use to analyze the files, you won't be able to do so. Okay. Um. Well, as you can see, it doesn't even appear here in the. It doesn't even locate it here in the Smart Assembly Explorer. All right, so let me cut the baloney and let's go straight for it. Tools you will need are Mega Mega Dumper, Mega Dumper, and the Universal Fixer. So let's go ahead and uh, let's see how it goes. First, open your target. Make sure it's loaded up completely, and then locate where your mega dumper is. And um, just um, dump the executable. As you can see, it's uh, it's a .NET file, so dump .NET dump. Then it will make a folder called dumps in the application directory with uh, it says that 21 files dumped in directory. Okay, so now we can successfully we can close the <coughs> mega dumper. Now let's check um, how the dump is working. Okay, so as you can see. Um, the dump is not working because the, al um, the alignments 
of the virtualization of the Themida um, practically leaves unresponsive the application make so you know leaves it not working at all so in order to fix it that's uh, why we need universal fixer so let's go and open up universal fixer and let's remove all these .NET options .NET PE and .NET and let's just simply load the assembly into the fixer and then click on the button that says fix assembly let's close it up and let's try it out as you can see it's the application now is successfully working now you can successfully um, open it up in uh, <coughs> how do you call it uh, whatever decompiler you like to analyze your file and ultimately here it's the impact file it looks like this it will look like this if your file is protected with something else and it will not look like this if your file is not obfuscated or whatever I have uh, obfuscated this little file from before so I obfuscated it with um, Yes, Fusegator. Yay, Fusegator. So it will look like that, all scrambled. But if the if the author or or the developer didn't use any other obfuscation previously, just he used um, um Themida or Themida, uh, then you should be good to go. Then the file should be ready for analyzing, and then you should have no problems with obfuscations whatsoever. Themida, it's only a wrapper that it, it's act well. It's not a wrapper per se, but when dealing with .NET applications, it acts like a wrapper. So, yeah. Once you dump everything, you will practically have the the .NET assembly. And then afterwards, what you need to do is just go with a universal fixer, and then remove all the .NET, P, the .NET options and then drop the file in it click the fixed assembly and it will give you the fixed assembly here um, with this prefix, I mean with this suffix so then afterwards you will have the file working right? so yeah that was my tutorial and I hope you learned something today that's it, bye bye take care